so i checked in this project into github and uh, if you wish you can fork it or uh, just follow it here so the same code that we have done um, last last time so the goal of this project is to uh, build this product mart using uh, mean stack where m4 mongo and express and angular <coughs> and node.js and then uh, our learning checklist uh, i have listed out here and we will learn each thing one by one next is uh, what is the material we need so some of the uh, all of the discussion that we are doing we are putting it into youtube uh, uh, so you can get those videos from here and and some of the articles also that's fine so and this is our project that last time we uh, started right so so far we have our application and in the app app component we have the default tax that we had initially it comes default when you create angular project so let's do uh, an integrate angular material so if you go to the angular material website so this is an angular material uh, website basically this is uh, controlled by core team angular team it is not like uh, some third party or something like that so if you use bootstrap uh, or something uh, those are third party application third party company right third company but this is the same company same angular angular team and they have created this angular material angular material is something like what they did is there are some common problem that you want to solve for example you always want to show a toolbar you always want to show some pop up you want to show some button with some different colors all of this uh, uh, shared components they have created a library for that right and it has lot of components directives that you can use and it is all free and it is all maintained by same angular team so it is guaranteed that the quality is very high so therefore you will not consider okay let me integrate bootstrap quickly in my angular project and do it so those are not recommended basically you could do but recommendation is do angular material so that you have both support uh, for your uh, upgrade also because as i said angular material can be installed using angular cli but not bootstrap i'm not sure whether bootstrap is possible or not but yes and then tomorrow if they upgrade angular material you can upgrade using angular cli and then that support is there so when you are doing from greenfield application you are you got opportunity to write a greenfield angular project then uh, consider using angular material for your css and all design purpose right so if you see this angular material it has components here and components are uh the things which are shared so these many components are there like form control navigation form control has many like if you want to do auto complete it is there built in mm -hmm. so you go example and state name uh, see this way it is coming and they have the source code also how to see the code what they have written um what is the typescript behind that right and you just have a list of states and then <coughs> and then you're saying uh this list of state you can filter it slice it and just uh, apply the filter state and this you bound with some some inbuilt component that they give for example mat uh, mat auto complete mat is for material so this is their custom element that they have created already and then you just use it so it saves a lot of time and also it gives the quality uh, component because this is well tested by angular itself right so you don't need to test it again so you do not need to write any test for this these are free for you so you saved lot of infrastructure work and you are focusing more on your business problem rather than this small small thing ki how i will do auto complete so now it is with this kind of small small uh, components uh, it is making our life easy to solve the business problem rather than focusing more on infrastructure stuff or doing this reusable component stuff right so this is that thing and also you can go live and see the code just go to the stack blaze if you click that it will open the live code so it is very helpful to learn anything so if you want to learn this is complete code they have written here so this is very excellent thing that i like it and you can fork it and submit it in your github also just take it in your github and this way you can read the code how exactly this is working so anything they they sh they put in angular material they have corresponding project for it so you can use it as a reference so see this is complete project it has its own component and uh, and all of that
and it is written in old angular version but this is all it has so it is written in angular 6 i guess uh, let's see no it is in 7 angular 7 yeah right so this way you can go by your own self and then learn many uh, angular material stuff for example if you want to do anything let's say radio button menu um, layout they have uh, card and they have this quick source code that you can just grab it and apply it in your project and use it so i recommend you to go and um, spend some time over here we will do one or two uh, things from here and then we'll show you how uh, how we are using it right in our project but this is the goal to go and if you go to the home page and then go get started then there are six steps to integrate angular material into your own project the first step is this install material cd and cdk and angular animation second step is <coughs> uh, use the uh, config configure the anim animation basically you go to uh, you install angular animation and then you import it also right third step is import the component module into your own module let's say I installed the angular material now I want to use a button so for each component they have a module in their library for example you want to just show a button you have to import the button module from the material so mat button module the name is very simple any component and then module name at the last and at the beginning mat, mat. so mat button component mat radio button uh, radio button component and so on <coughs> mat checkbox uh, checkbox com uh, module so that way you import whatever you need mm -hmm. so normally it becomes very lengthy right there are a lot of imports that you have to do because throughout the project you may use many components mm -hmm. so the good idea is to just create an independent module just for material and import a lot of modules and export a lot of modules from them at the, uh, a comprehensive list of modules and then use that module everywhere in your project in angular project so this is that angular module angular material module that that you need to import if you want to use button and checkbox next is you have to import the theme so in order to include the theme you need to go to the angular.json file and then go to the styles array and then and then type out all of the path there or you go to your own style and import so that is that manual step right like this like go to the style file and import this theme so this is importing from which box, uh, which package, angular material package. Mm -hmm. So angular material has some pre-built themes. For example, they have many themes. If you go to the theming, you will see them. And they have nice documentation. So you don't need to go any other website or anything. So you see this, they have a theme and, uh, <clears throat> and using some of the built-in theme that indigo pink, deep purple, pink, purple, green and so on. So these are the inbuilt themes which are good for our learning purpose you can use it and then if you are creating your own um, project in your company and they are not satisfied with this theme you can create your own theme it is extendable so they have examples how to create your custom theme and etc etc et right so refer this and then this is more of like your designer team can work on it who knows little bit of angular and that way right so for us we will go with the regular pre-built uh, theme and then finally use the gesture support so you have to just install some of the uh, javascript uh, package for example hammer.js or something which are needed for some gesture things um, and uh, and those things also you have to import so these are all and then sixth step again <laughs> again there is one more step is uh, adding the material icon so which is basically you go into index file and add so all of these six steps are good but but there is a it is error prone you may mistake you may do some mistake so therefore angular material uh, sorry angular cli team did a good work so if you see this line here they have seen uh, what they're saying is if you are using angular dev kit 6 uh, plus thing like angular dev kit uh, which is more than six version then what you can do is just run this one line command and it will do the magic it will install all of the things that you need that, you need, that we need in six steps in six steps yeah so it will make our life easy that way okay so and then once you install let's say one line it will do all six steps it will change all of the files and it will show how many files you have changed and then it will enable us to do all of the stuff for example i want to use some button i can just um, use them i can use this uh, text whatever html they are saying 
if you go to the source i if want if i want to use a card i can just write this mat a hyphen card and it will work it will render like uh, like this um, i guess if you go to the examples yeah like this right and the code for this is simple this is the code you don't need to write your own stuff you just use mat card mat card is the first component and inside that <coughs> you have a sub sub component like a mat card header and inside the header you can pass the title subtitle and then there is a, a content mat card mat card content and inside the content you can put the actual body part of it and then you have a actions as a as a separate uh, component where you can define some of the buttons like delete or or something else like right? share or something so if you see uh, the the again example so then it will look like this this is the title and subtitle mm -hmm. and this is the image also which is in between and then this area is the content area that we are using it this is subtitle and in the subtitle and then this and then this is author that they have used um, to show this this icon and this is the content area and then like and share is here like and share like this well, this is ready made right so i will recommend you to use this um, angular material heavily in your project that way you'll save a lot of your time mm -hmm. and then you'll build quality project and it is all compliant right mm -hmm. so what we will do today is we'll just try to integrate it and see some some of the things uh, how it how it integrates first